Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I introduce you to the Go To Special command, one of my favorite commands in Excel. And Excel 2007 makes it easier than ever to use the Go To Special command. Whenever a client gives me a spreadsheet to look at, the first thing I want to do is examine where the formulas are. I use the Go To Special formulas to find that. So from the Home tab in the ribbon, come over here into the Editing group. The drop-down menu from Find and Select will take me either to the Go To Special dialog box or directly to the cells that contain formulas. So now the formula cells are highlighted. Can you spot the two problems? Look at cell H10 and look at cell D16. Someone either accidentally or maliciously has hard-coded values in there. So if we allow that to continue, we're going to have persistent problems as we work on this spreadsheet. Now, if I don't want to look for the values, I could look for the constant values that contain numbers. Once again, come over to Find and Select, and this time let's go into the dialog box. We'll go into the dialog box for Go To Special. What I want to do is select constant values that are numbers. So I select constants and then deselect everything except the numbers. And now, once again, I'll just apply that shading. So it's so easy to spot those two cells that contain those errors. So, of course, what I'll want to do is come over here and copy down the cell that contains the formula to the cell below it so that problem will go away. Now, when I go back into the Find Special Formulas, you'll see that that problem has been corrected. Now, of course, I still have to correct the problem over here in the next cell. Now, if you're using older versions of Excel, a quick way to go to the Go To Special is use the keyboard shortcut F5. So with F5, it takes you to the Go To dialog box and just select the specials. Now you're back at that dialog box. An even quicker way to use the command to see where, where the formulas are is to use this keyboard shortcut, Control tilde. So you see with Control tilde it highlights all of the formulas. So it's very easy to spot where we have someone hard coding a value. And that's a toggle switch. So Control, control tilde brings that back. Let me spell this out. It'll be CTRL for Control plus this symbol, the tilde. All right, so that is a very, very useful keyboard shortcut to use. Let me show you another way that I use Go To Special. When I want to reuse a worksheet over and over again, and I don't want to turn it into a template, let's use Control tilde here for a second. So here I can see the cells that contain formulas. I want to leave the formulas intact, but I want all of the values to disappear. So let's return back here, and what I want to do is use Go To Special to find the constant values that are numbers, and I'm going to delete them. So let's again go up here to Find and Select, and I want to go to Go To Special, and in the dialog box for constants, I want to select only the numbers. In other words, I don't want to have the labels in there. So with the numbers selected, and it's easy to see them, now I can simply delete the numbers the formulas remain. And now, when I want to pass this on for next year's budget or for the next department's budget, I'll have all the labels in place, I'll have all the formulas in place, and now all I have to do is supply the new numbers. So this would work well for expense reports, let's say. When you have a basic frame of a worksheet that's set up, use the Go To Special find those absolute values, those constant value numbers that you want to delete, and you have an easy to use template. So there you've seen how to use the go to special command. As a matter of fact, it's so good that I like to add it to my quick access toolbar. So any command that I want to add to the quick access toolbar, all I have to do is right mouse click on it, say add to the quick access toolbar, and now I have that command available in any worksheet. And I'll see you in the next lesson.